All right. Once again, for about the tenth time in the last two weeks, we've got a water problem here. So, the customer says that the pan is full and it overflowed a little bit and it is not dripping out of the primary, so we're going to see what we can do about it. All right, let's see what we got here. No filter. Well, that doesn't look good. So. Go over here and see if we can figure out what's going on. Oh my gosh, look at that return. I know that's not why we're here. <laughs> well, that's why they don't have a filter, because it looks like they've got a pretty decent one there. But I just don't think that return's going to work very well like that. It goes 180 degrees up under the unit and gets crushed and tries to make a 90. That's real nice. Okay. That pan looks dry to me. I don't know why anybody would do this right here. think you should do that and so this is open as a vent and this is a nice little easy trap that you brush out personally I don't care for those but a lot of people like them up to them. Wonder what happens if you open that. So this is just beyond my ability to have faith. That right there. I just can't see that being open or being what it is. So, I don't know if that pan is even piped off. Looks like that's that primary. And I don't see anything. Nothing but a cap on the pan, which that's okay. We do that as well. Um, it's got a float switch in it. That's kind of what we'll do. I just wonder what did this. Obviously, that vent uh, being so low right there, and you can see all the marks I mean so it must be clogged on its way across there and uh, <laughs> that vent needs to be I don't know about a foot taller maybe or yeah I just don't like those easy traps but you can see how short it is so if the p-trap clogs then that switch will stop it that's right there but if the pipe clogs beyond it going over there somewhere and going out which obviously it has then it'll back up and run right out of the top of that vent so let's get all this fixed all right looks like a 410a unit <coughs> not real old 
one thing. It is extremely quiet. I'll give Linux that. Now what in the world that little tube is doing there, I do not know. But it looks to be dripping out behind that. Sticking my hand in these. Did that one time and reached up in there and got myself a nice little beast in it. And I'll tell you, whoever that dummy is that put this gutter here, I don't know. Right, I see a drip. There we go. There's the PVC. So let's see what we get through this now. I guess I was blind. something through it but, uh, we're gonna go up here and do two things number one we're gonna pour the trap and the pipe as full as we can of a, uh, a good strong cleaner to flush it with and number two we're gonna see what we can do about extending that vent straight up to where it's taller so let's take a few toys up there with us. All right. Our phone gets hot and the flash disables. And that's my, that's my light. But, so what we're gonna do, is we're gonna stick a piece of pipe in there we're going to glue it down there and we're going to put this cap that has a hole drilled in it and that's going to be our vent and we're not going to glue it so we can use it to pour cleaner in and I'm probably going to move this down I'd say to about right there and uh, I'm going to go ahead and glue this in and we'll We'll use it to pour this full of cleaner. And then we'll go outside and vacuum it and hopefully that flushes everything out. And this secondary is already blocked off to the point that it barely, I don't know if you can, you can see that or not. It barely has any opening, so it was not necessary to have this plugging it. And actually, that just makes the water go everywhere and, and fill up the whole cabinet instead of just out of the secondary there when the drain pipe is clogged. So, we'll cut this off at the right height and we're going to fill it up. All right, so we've got this cut way above the height of the outlet on the pan and that's going to be our vent just a, just, just a big enough hole to vent air and you know prevent the anti-siphon situation and there's another little slot right down here on the uh, easy trap that I found that's uh, going to allow me to leave this brush attached where it doesn't get lost. Um, I'll never buy and install these. I think they're just um, gay or whatever. So what I'm going to do now 
is I'm gonna take this 50-50 mixture right here of yellow death and water. And I'm gonna fill this trap and as much as I can piping all up with it. Oops. Should have brought a little small funnel. I picked up a couple of them the other day just because they were cute little funnels. I think they were in Wet Boy John's favorite store, Harbor Freight. Um, John HVAC, I call him Wet Boy. He's always talking about how wet he is. I don't, I don't know what that's all about. Don't think I want to know. So, a little over a quart here, not quite a half gallon. I'm gonna try to just get it all in there. And then we're gonna go outside and see what portion of it is coming out and vacuum it out. See what we can do to flush this thing out. I think I'll save a little bit and pour it this way just in case it did not go into the trap like we wanted it to. Do not care for any of that, but we'll leave it here. All right, so let's go back outside. We're going to leave this just like that. And let's see what we get out of it. All right. Here's the quiet Linux. Pumping good hot air out of the top. And here is our vacuum still hooked up. Let's see what we get. So, that should have this taken care of. Now we're going to watch it long enough to let it fill that trap back up and start to drain before we go. Alright, so I sat out there in the van for, I don't know, 12, 15 minutes. Made a couple phone calls. And let's see if we're... Yeah, it looks like we're dripping now. So, oh yeah, that's good cold water. I'd say we're going to be all right here now. Oh, look at that big butterfly right in front of my camera. Shame they only live for a few days. So we're gonna go in here and talk to the customer. Let them know at least that that problem is resolved. And I think the uh, 
recurrence of it in the future has now been prevented. And we'll move on to the next one. Thanks for watching.